Welcome to Tesla Vision. Today, we will talk about the most recent Tesla news and updates. Let's get into it right away. While we may have to wait a bit longer before we actually see one of the Tesla semis hauling cargo from Texas to Atlanta, recent sightings of the company's commercial vehicles suggest that the automaker is really making great strides, particularly with regards to the semi's battery pack and full self-driving features. During the latest interview on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast, Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk discussed a lot of things about the upcoming Tesla's all-electric Class 8 truck. One notable feature of the Tesla Semi is its battery pack. Musk revealed that the Tesla Semi would have a battery pack of around 500 kWh. Quote, you want something on the order of probably a 500 kWh pack. What we have in the Model S and X is a 100 kWh pack and probably something like a 500 kWh pack in the Tesla Semi. End quote, Musk stated. According to Musk, this pack would be utilized in the 300-mile version of the Tesla Semi, but he hints at the longer-range version of the Semi coming later in production. Back in 2017, when actually unveiling the Semi, Musk noted that the truck would have an efficiency of fewer than 2 kWh per mile on a single charge. With that kind of efficiency, Tesla's 300 and 500 mile versions of the semi were expected to have battery packs around 600 kilowatt hours to 1000 kilowatt hours. Musk's recent update suggests that Tesla has improved its batteries to such a degree that the semi now requires a smaller battery pack to achieve its 300 mile range target. Perhaps this battery pack is significantly smaller than what experts anticipated when evaluating the cost, power, weight, specific energy and performance of the vehicle. Experts and Tesla skeptics, such as Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates, believe that the Semi may not be economically viable because its weight would have a negative impact on the driving range. Tesla's 100 kWh batteries weigh roughly 1,300 pounds, so it means that the Tesla's 4680 battery pack, which Musk said would be utilized in the semi when the Class 8 truck was first unveiled, would weigh between 7,800 and 13,000 pounds. Comparing this with typical diesel-powered semi-trucks, which weigh between 15,000 to 25,000 pounds, it means that the Tesla semi would likely be at a disadvantage weight-wise. In response to Bill Gates' claims about the viability of the semi, Musk argued that a 500 kWh battery pack could be optimized further to reduce its weight, considering that the company's custom batteries in Model S, Model 3, Model X, Model Y lineup are lighter and more powerful. According to Tesla's CEO, the company has integrated its new 4680 cell architecture into the truck's chassis. The new 4680 cell architecture is far superior than that of any existing electric vehicle, being twice as efficient, much lower in weight and offering significant production cost savings. In September, Tesla talked about its new 4680 cell architecture, but it seems that large cells could pose a thermal and weight problem. So, Tesla is solving this problem by adopting new tabless architecture. The tabless architecture means deleting two tabs, connecting the battery can and cap to the cathode, replacing that with a spiral architecture, allowing multiple points of connection, boosting efficiency by reducing the resistance. Musk added that Tesla's 4680 tabless cells and structural battery packs could make the semi more rigid by further increasing its structural integrity. With the new form factor, Tesla can lower negative mass, thus increasing the density of the battery pack. A senior advisor for electric mobility at the Eindhoven University of Technology, Aoki Hustra, says that Tesla's 500 kWh battery packs could significantly save another ton to the Tesla Semi's overall weight, considering that structural battery packs would practically displace the steel beams that give gas-powered Class 8 trucks their rigidity. 
Another advantage of Tesla's battery packs, as highlighted by Hoekstra, include the cost savings that will result from the use of all electric trucks. While unveiling the Tesla Semi, Musk acknowledged that it would be greatly undercutting traditional diesel-powered trucks in terms of operating costs. Combine this with new battery packs with long range and low maintenance requirements and you will have no problems in seeing that trucks like the Tesla Semi are very likely to become a logical choice for many bulk transporters in the nearest future. However, this is not all. The Semi also stands to gain from Tesla's work with its full self-driving suite whose inner-city driving capabilities are currently being deployed in its initial batch of pre-production prototypes. Musk confirmed during Tesla's fourth quarter fiscal year 2020 earnings call that the Semi was going to be the first Tesla vehicle to get full autonomy capability. Similar announcements were also made by automotive president Jérôme Guillen, who noted that the full self-driving hardware on the Semi would be the same as the one utilized in other Tesla's EVs. However, Tesla will have to modify the full self-driving software's parameters to suit the Semi's larger size. This is according to Musk. Perhaps one of the most impressive things about the Tesla Semi that's rarely mentioned is the ability of the truck to drive in convoy mode. While unveiling the Semi, Elon Musk revealed that the truck could work in a convoy mode with a three-truck convoy beating both rail transport and traditional long haulers in terms of efficiency. Musk said that convoying would involve a line of semis taking instructions from the lead truck, allowing for a single driver to effectively control up to three vehicles in close proximity, thus optimizing battery power and range. Convoy mode and other semi's functions, such as autopilot software, alongside with its four Model 3 derived electric motors, which help prevent issues such as jackknifing, make it possible for the Tesla's upcoming all electric heavy duty truck to provide the company with a stronger balance sheet, which could significantly contribute to Elon Musk's ongoing campaign in battling carbon dioxide emissions. Tesla is expected to enter mass production of the Tesla semis at Giga Texas and Nevada assembly lines. Analysts have predicted the U.S. electric cars to surpass 54,000 by 2025. The high demand will certainly be met by the Tesla semi. The semi will be produced in two trims, depending on the range. 300 plus mile version selling at around $150,000 and the 500 plus mile version going at around $180,000. The company has already secured a massive order of the semi electric trucks from Walmart and Pride Group Enterprises, a holding company that specializes in truck leasing in the US and Canada. The company has placed a reservation for more than 150 Tesla semis with the option to buy at least 500 semi-trucks from Tesla. In other unrelated news, Tesla has rolled out its power pack batteries in the Nigeria capital, Abuja, to help combat power shortages. In 2019, the American automotive and energy company hinted at entering the Nigerian market with its power wall. Tesla's power wall and grid-scale batteries are rechargeable lithium-ion batteries designed for long-duration energy storage. The Tesla power pack project in Nigeria entails a 2.1 megawatt large-scale solar and renewable energy solution paired with industrial-grade Tesla batteries. It is meant to help support renewable energy and improve the reliability of electricity supply, both on and off-grid. According to a 2015 report by the Center for Global Development, more than 80 million Nigerians have no access to electricity and the general public is pessimistic about the pace of power sector improvements. As noted by Alex Oko, Director General, Bureau of Public Enterprise, the electricity distribution companies in Nigeria have no capacity to improve power infrastructure in the country. Therefore, the entry of Tesla Powerwall in Nigeria as an alternative power solution has been welcomed warmly. The Tesla Power Pack project in Nigeria is aimed at helping the country move away from gas and diesel-powered energy solutions. 
a 2019 study by the International Finance Corporation shows the country's large-scale dependency on fossil fuels. The Nigeria Labor Congress estimates that the government spends over $17 billion per year on industrial-grade diesel and gas generators. These machines are used as power backup in government institutions, commercial buildings, businesses, and even utilities. Nigeria is widely known to be a home market for backup generators. Small gasoline generators have been popular in the country, despite the Nigerian government's ban in a bid to control the pollution. Tesla's power pack system in Abuja may be a small step towards ushering in a transition to renewable energy. Bearing in mind that Nigeria largely depends on non-renewable energy sources, perhaps even Tesla's Powerwall home batteries and massive batteries like Megapack could find a home in most countries in Africa. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. We post videos daily, so feel free to subscribe and stay up to date on all most recent news and updates.